everyone, and welcome back to Magical Diary, where kidnapping is magic. I'm with Ben Thorne. <laughs> Wait, what? Last time we left, they Wait. were kidnapping us, remember? Um, the blindfolds, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Everyone else is doing it. Yeah, all right, now I remember. <laughs> That's, I mean, the whole Super Bowl shtick earlier. That's it's made me Broncos. forget whatever we did. The Broncos. The poor Broncos. Yeah, she's, she's a Broncos fan, in case you didn't get by that little bit of whimpering there. Um, well, I, I don't follow any particular team, I just see which right. team is the She Super likes Bowl. the Broncos for this. Yeah, Personally, I don't like I don't like sports at all. Well. Football, particularly, because football is just a wimpified version of rugby, in my opinion. Uh, well, careful, you'll hurt feelings. That's because you're an anime otaku nerd. No games, just nerds. Oh, oh, oh okay, good. Okay, so everyone else is doing it. We're blindfolded. <laughs> okay, and now we can't see anything and we have no idea what's going on. Just jumping in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Did you hit a button? I, did. I, I figured it out. If you press both buttons at the same time, it, it does that. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Anyway, I hear people moving around, whispering one or two giggles. I wait. I don't really want it. Oh, alright. See, I can't resist the joke. Um... Did you know that, like, what was it, 80% of rapes start with a hand on the shoulder? Oh, really? Of course, well, that joke is normally told with when you put your hand on someone's shoulder. <laughs> that's, that's, that's terrible. Yes, it's terrible. It's a male voice. Okay, um... Shoot, where's my... Yeah, there it is. Uh, is there a male voice in particular that you no, want? No, just or? a random just, male voice. Alright, oh, random male voice. Um... Forget it, I'm going with my normal voice. <laughs> Sit up, carefully. Now on your feet. I stand up with hands <laughs> seen it and sat my, under my elbows, studying me. Then one of those hands pushes me. Hey! Round and round and round she goes, and where she stops, nobody knows. Wait, is this Ellen? No. Why'd you do an Ellen voice? It's not an Ellen voice. Ellen's voice is a little bit more nasally. Well, it was close enough. Whatever. <laughs> I feel myself spun around and passed from hand to hand. Stop. Stop. Yes. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so? Before I went funny. for a Russian accent or something? I know, it was funny. Anyway. Um, they hold me swaying in place. For your own safety, do exactly what I tell you. Walk forward slowly. That voice sounds familiar. Well, did whatever. I, did I I'll completely play... guess that because I wasn't. Pretty good. I wasn't really get. Uh, I wasn't intending so much to do uh, a voice in particular, but that ended up being Damien's new voice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'll follow the instructions of the voices and try to guess where I'm going. Through the buildings, at the door, across the grounds. Step up. <laughs> male voice, male female voices. Up. Careful now, don't hit your head. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. <laughs> Just like, throwing random voices out there. Why don't you try one with like a hiss noise? Okay. I feel a hand guiding my head toward. Sorry, I feel a hand on top of my head <laughs> guiding me into a van. <laughs> that's that's great. Sit down. I'll strap you in. <laughs> Come on, you know that fits. <laughs> I know it does. It's <laughs> That's just. I mean, I'm bad and I should feel bad. <laughs> it's okay. I can hear other people being guided into the remaining seats. Okay, so we're going for a drive to the mall, to a cave, to a hotel, <laughs> to a secret underground temple. I think it's the second option. They're taking us to the rape cave. The secret underground dungeon where fantasies are supposed to come alive? <laughs> well, the school does have that, I think. But the school has dungeons. No, yeah, well, think about it. It's a magic school with dungeons, so technically any fantasy would come alive. At last we arrive, and we carefully ushered out of the van, and we will take a break real quick. Hold on one sec. And we're back! Sorry about that. Just had uh, a little bit of a glitch in the audio system. And let's see where think, exactly we are. Uh, thinking of it, isn't the music, music still paused? Yep. Surprise! I don't know what that one was. Oh wow, that was a totally the wrong voice! What? So that's why the music stopped. 
Initiation is over. Now it's time for the party. Groups of students lounge around the lakeside. Um, seniors and freshmen mingling freely. Long tables groan under wall watermelons, punch bowls, and chafing dishes. Ch chafing dishes. Chafing dishes. Chafing dishes. So, dishes wearing long clothes in the summer, maybe? Uh, well, the ones that help you with that certain uh, issue you've been having in between the, the delicate parts of your... No, in all seriousness, though. What? The, the... what? <laughs> a different kind of chafing. Anyway, <laughs> a chafing dish is a um, aluminum... Aluminum container usually seen at like picnics and uh, weddings and buffets and they have the little sterno cans and Oh those things! Yes. Yeah. That's a chafing dish. Is that what that's called? Yep. That's a terrible name for it. It is a terrible name for it, but you know, the more you grow. The more you grow? Yeah, the more you know, the more you grow. Is that the full thing? Yes. I've only ever heard the more you know. Okay. Get to you on. <laughs> now that we're done with that tangent. <clears throat> There's soda and barbecue and games, and presents from the seniors to their freshmen. You bought me a present? Actually, we were supposed to make them, but I've never been very good at that sort of thing. We're gonna get like a little two-year-old string and beads thing. What? So, here. He hands me a small box. Inside, I find a small object. I don't immediately recognize. It's some sort of tool, maybe a pocket knife? <laughs> uh, yes, but my teeth aren't sharper than the steel. <laughs> oh, that's, I wonder if we'd have gotten a different line there. Yeah, you would have gotten better if you said my uh, his voice is smooth really? as Really? Yeah. Would we have? That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this was mine when I was a little boy. I kept it with me like a lucky charm, but now I want you to have it. Oh, that's sweet. The demon showing his softer side. Yeah. Could Thanks. poke it so it hides again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an oyster. Silly. He smiles at me, and it seems so perfectly happy that I can't imagine anyone would ever think of him as an evil demon. Come on, let's go join the party. It's just getting started. All right. Everybody's here, and this would be a good chance for my roommates to meet Damien and see that he's not a bad guy. But if that backfired and they said something mean to him, it could spoil the party. What should I do? Um, Virginia is almost definitely gonna say something mean. Mm -hmm. Ellen might have, like, a scared or bad reaction. Um, at the same time, I could see both of those potentially working out. I don't, I don't know. What do you think? Oh, uh, well, we could just have fun. It's just the route I took. I haven't played... I have a feeling that we introduced Damien to Virginia and it is going to backfire. Um, but I'm not... Oh, uh, William is with Ellen. All right. Virginia's older so? brother. So, uh, it's up to you. Wait, what is... Would we catch William and Ellen doing something that we're not supposed to catch them doing? Well, no, but Ellen is Virginia, uh, sorry. William is Ellen's senior. Ellen's master. <laughs> during the initiation. Alright, so, what what are you getting at here? Do do William and Damien have some yeah, because previously remember, untold history? Yeah, remember that, um, Virginia learned about Damien through William. I thought that she just learned about him through rumors. They never said explicitly that she's learned oh, about him through William. Oh, they didn't do William. it that, through the game, that's right. Okay. Spoilers. Oops. Anyway. Again, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it's up All to Alright, well then just have fun. Okay. Because that seems like the safest path. Provided nobody spiked the punch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, did anyone bring any games? Are we allowed to? Are we allowed in the water? It's too bad I didn't bring my swimsuit. I'm not sure I can swim wearing robes. I can. <clears throat> you could always take them off. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Somewhat. <laughs> yes, we can swim here. There's a safety barrier set up to block off the deep parts. You, you pro. Oh, all right. There we are. Uh, never mind. I. I this is what I get for reading one more at a time. 
You probably should take off your cape, but robes are fine. They won't be too heavy? Only when you get out of the water, and then I can dry you off. Like William did for Virginia. <laughs> yeah. Except, I'm... Ne never mind. <laughs> if you'd rather play games, there are hoops and darts. Lawn darts? I thought those were illegal. What's... Oh. <laughs> Nice. Sorry. Thank you. Twice now, um, I think. No, just one this time. Well, no, but there was one last time. Oh, yeah. At yeah. Oirish Academy. <laughs> Slipping that in here before I forget. <laughs> What's a lawn dart? Uh, things with metal tips that, uh, tips that you <laughs> throw and try to stick into the ground. Like javelins, I think. I'm not sure. I've never seen one. I heard they were... I just heard that they were dangerous. Well, you're throwing around metal pointy things. <laughs> what? Not weapons. These are for games. They're not real darts. They're sticks with feathers on the end. You throw them at the hoop while it rolls. Anyway, we can do whatever you like. The party's for you, you know. Well, her and like 100 other freshmen at least. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's for the freshmen. Nice. Real, real smooth right there, guy. <clears throat> oh god, I just read ahead a little bit. That's, that's great, guy. Uh, so, should we get some food, or find a game, or get wet? <laughs> Sorry, I can't not laugh at that. That's just... <laughs> what do you want? It's just terrible. Yeah. Well, let's go for a swim then. The water looks nice. I don't mind getting wet. No, just no. Just, just no. If we eat first, we'd have to wait too long. That's a myth, actually. Last one in kisses a hula. What is a hula? I guess we'll figure out later. And so Stress we spend the afternoon nice. yeah, having a good time together. <laughs> Come on, you can't expect me to not make jokes about this. On Saturday morning, I wake to find envelopes under... Sorry, I find envelopes under my door again. Our allowances and one extra. My parents finally wrote to me. I open up the envelope, intending to skim through it quickly, but it turns out there's not much to skim through. They send their love and hope I'm having fun at boarding school. And that's it. No mention about what they've been doing, no questions about the friends I've made, not any questions about magic. How can they not ask about magic? Muggles. Before I got here, I had no idea what was possible. There was only a few minutes... There was only that brief moment of magic when I was 13 before the officials came to turn off the power and give me the choice. Flip a little switch. Yeah. For three years, I had to wait and wonder. And now I'm finally starting to discover this entire world of possibility and they don't even ask? Maybe they don't want to bother me in case I'm busy or they'll figure out... Or they figure I'll tell them what I want to tell them. I still haven't written. I'm so bad. <laughs> or maybe you're overthinking this. Yeah. I'll write them a letter. Tomorrow. Really. <laughs> I'll get to it uh, tomorrow. <laughs> but before before today I had to decide whether or not I, to go out. You want to go to the mall or study? Alright. Um. Now our magic is linked to our smarts. Yeah, that's that's something I figured, you know, it's like the growth would probably be linked to smarts. Um, though if we study, we'll probably get more stress, won't we? I suppose it's not really at a level that we have to worry about yet. No, no, it's not. I wonder if, if um, things will actually change if you get too high of a stress, or if it's just there to make people freak out and waste time. Um, it can cause some issues, but that's it, it's at like 50 or higher Yeah, that you have to worry about it. Alright, um... Well, let's go ahead and study then, because I, I thought that, you know, that might be the case. <laughs> One smart, two stressed, that's, that's great. Oh, there we go. At breakfast, I sit down and... After I, breakfast. Yeah, after breakfast, I sit down to figure out what to write to my parents. I could tell them about the strange professor here, but I don't want to tell them like that. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. There are lots of silly stories about the things that have happened during initiation, but I don't think you can really appreciate them if you weren't there. They might think it sounds like bullying. Or, you know, something else. Yeah. 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 I guess I should tell them about my bedroom and the food and here and things like that. So that they don't 
worry about me. They, uh, they'll want to know if I'm getting enough sleep and I remember to brush my teeth. It's an awkward sentence. Yeah. They'll want to know that I get enough sleep and I remember to brush my teeth. That's what I It's not that awkward. You were just saying it awkwardly. Yeah. And my roommates. I should write about them. We've gotten so busy we don't even know each other that well yet, but they're both good people. So you think. Even if I am a bit annoyed with Virginia. <laughs> uh. Poor Ellen's had a hard time of it this week with initiation. I'm, I'm f sure she's glad that it's all over. As for magic, well, I've learned a few things, but I haven't really done any proper magic yet. Just classroom exercises, so I'll, I'll wait a while before I tell them much about that. It just occurred to me that if there, um, if there is, like, a society of wizards, you know, trying to make sure the secret of magic doesn't get leaked out everywhere, they would, you know, uh, let, all right, let's, let's assume for a moment that they're idiots and don't erase the memories of the family, because that would just be the smart road to go. Um, they would still probably edit that stuff out of letters because, you know, you don't want physical proof of it. Yeah, I'm sure they, they do some wild s seed screening or something like that. <laughs> uh, mail doesn't go out on Sunday, so I fold, up my, uh, fold my letter up and stick it in the envelope. But I don't seal it yet. I can get a stamp from the on-campus post office tomorrow. I think I'll go for a walk. I don't think I've ever actually had to send a letter before. Yeah. It's, it's, this is a place no, with no technology. Yeah, that's true. I, yeah. I still never had to send a letter before. That was the only point I was making. Yeah. Whew, excuse me. I wander around the campus, wondering how long the leaves will stay green. This is a magical place, so it might be like this all year. Like this all year. I, I'd miss the fall colors, though. I wonder... <laughs> I, <laughs> Wonder that witches and wizards do for Halloween. Dress up like normal people. That's that would be kind of interesting. <laughs> well, As I'm that's, thinking that's about that, my own personal per Halloween direction decoration makes an appearance. Hey Damien! He looks at me oddly. What are you up to? Do you want to do something together? Why? To be friendly because we're bored? Not that bored. Without further word, he brushes past me and away. What just happened here? He realized that he had feelings for you, and he doesn't like that. <laughs> Virginia comes up behind me. I told you so. Oh, that, sorry. What? No. <laughs> I told you so. There we go. Told me what? That he's evil. <laughs> you having trouble with the voice? Yeah. Might need to stop for tea. <laughs> or something. Um, I was just talking to my brother about him to get the scoop. <coughs> oh, excuse me. He's a total womanizer. William said last year he left every sophomore in Butterfly Hall crying in the bathroom at some point. That That's really pretty good. I don't know about that. I mean, that's that's some pretty good skill if you could do something like that. Because if you think about it, Butterfly Hall is supposed to be the pretty girls. Yeah. Well, he's a falcon. He likes pretty things. Anyway. I don't know. I, I would think raccoon would be better for that because raccoons see something shiny. They don't let go. No, this is true. He gets girls hope and then when they fall in love with him, he just dumps them. But I'm not dating him. The point is, he's a jerk. <laughs> Forget you ever knew him, you'll be better off. There must be some misunderstanding. I know Virginia doesn't like Damien, but he was nice to me. Maybe he's just having a really bad day. Uh, if he doesn't want to talk to me right now, there's no point in chasing after him. Come on, let's go to the gym and play. And we will- <laughs> Play? Play. Play? And we'll head to the gym next time. Next uh, time? Really? Already? Yeah, yeah we've passed the 20 minute mark. Oh, yeah. yeah cool. Yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Bye.